What's going on guys, Chris Badchipper here, bringing you some Destiny. It's Arms Day, and uh, we're starting out with the gruesome twosome, the Suros JLB 42 and 47 rocket launchers. For the 42, just go for the rank 2 roll, it is grenades and horseshoes right off the bat. We have single point sling and flare magwell, then we of course have perfect balance and snapshot. I would honestly recommend flare magwell and perfect balance. And go with hard launch to give it a smaller, to give it a, just another tiny boost to the stability. I'm telling you, in our, with Iron Banner here, we're probably going to see a couple of these. The rank 1 roll having surplus is good for a PvE perspective, and the rank 3 roll is not great at all. But the rank 1 roll has been on so many JLB 42 and 47 rocket launchers that it's irrelevant. <laughs> so I would say pick up the rank 2 and be done. For the 47, no, just no. We have Vacuum for the rank 1 and 3 rolls, and then Reactive Reload for the rank 2 rolls, same as the rank 3 roll on the JLB-42. Now, while this does have, pretty, have Javelin on it, on top of Reactive Reload, I would just honestly scrap it from Marks. And basically move on, or just hold on to the package. In fact, for the Foundry Orders, there is another JLB-47 rocket launcher, so you can hold on to this if you so desire. But, uh, as for me, I have no need for it, so I'm just going to pick one up and scrap it from Marks. Uh, bef now, I'm going to move on to the other weapons, but I'm going to need to make a quick swap over to my Hunter. So, give me one moment, Guardians. Okay, guys. We're actually tied here for the Suros RE41 Auto Rifle. I'm going to tell you to skip the Rank 2 roll and pick either the Rank 1 roll or Rank 3 roll. Starting out with the Rank 1 roll, we have Persistence right off the bat. Next, we have Reinforced Barrel, Increased Range, Reduced Stability. And then we have Perfect Balance to bring the stability back to the base level. We also have the SBO28 Hollow Sights for improved target acquisition as well. So this can be quite a popular choice. Not as... Uh, fast as a Doctrine of Passing, however it does hit harder than a Doctrine of Passing. Minutely harder. <laughs> Hashtag 0.04%. <laughs> but uh, anyway, this is definitely a great weapon for player versus player activities. Uh, this can be sort of useful in PvE as well, however we have a more useful PvE oriented version while maintaining some good effectiveness in PvP and that is the rank 3 with glass half full. Getting into the perks here, we have we of course do have bonus damage at the bottom half of each mag. We have small bore for a small increase to range and a reduced stability. Uh, better yet, an increased range and stability with a uh, slightly slower reload and reduced magazine size. This is actually going to work well with glass half full because it means you're going to get to the bottom of that magazine faster. This is going to proc at a much quicker time. Not to mention you have fitted stock for another increase to stability. And you also don't have the uh, hollow sights, however you do have the red dot sights which are honestly just as great. So honestly the choice is uh, entirely yours. I'm actually going to be going with the rank 1 roll though. Getting into the Thies and FR4, a lot of people keep hoping for a god roll with this weapon. And I haven't actually looked yet because I want to be surprised myself, so we're actually going to take a look. Rank 1? No. Rank 2? No. Rank 3? No. <laughs> Damn. Okay. I could actually recommend hold on, holding on to this package, but if you want the best possible roll, you're g maybe going to have to go with the rank 3 roll. Getting in, first of all, we have uh, the Candle IS-2 Iron Sights. This is always great for fusion rifles. Iron Sights are some of the favorites. Uh, for other perks, we have Oiled Frame, Faster Reload, Reduced Range. This is counterbalanced by Range Finder. So this can actually be a very potent combo for a very high reload speed. Uh, you of course have Grenadier kills with this weapon reduce the cooldown of your super. In PvE, this is great because it's possible for this weapon to kill multiple targets in one burst. So this can give you a massive uh, reduction to your cooldown. This could go as far as 30 to 40% at best. Not to mention, as a small optional, you also have Eye of the Storm. Making this weapon even more accurate, and as it already is, can be very rewarding at times. I would, however, stick with Rangefinder. Uh, if, if Quick Aim 
If uh, charging from the hip and then firing while ADS is your playstyle, rangefinder is the best perk for you. If you're just an all-around hip fire dude with fusion rifles, I have the storm all the way. But uh, this is definitely the best role available. I am going to recommend that you hold on to this package. Um, I have another one on my Titan, so I'm going to keep this one. Or better yet, I'm actually going to buy the rank 3 roll to just mess around. I wish I didn't see that. <laughs> Getting into the Herja D pulse rifle, all the rolls are pretty interesting. However, uh, the best possible roll is going to be the rank 3 roll, I believe. We have reinforced barrel to provide a nice boost to the range. We have also got the LCU ranged marksman scope. This is one of the better scopes for hockey weapons, in fact, which is quite nice. Uh, getting in, we have glass half full and full auto. So this is going to proc at 18 shots in the mag. 19, 18, 17 shots in the mag is where this is going to activate. And having this weapon in full auto mode, if you can control the uh, upper left kick of the weapon, then you're going to have a breeze with this gun. Another option is, of course, the rank 1 roll, full auto, and crowd control. This does actually come with a maximum stability roll, however, you are sacrificing range, and you don't get any range uh, performance scopes. So this is, a down, this is a bit of a trade. Do you want a high range or a high stability? This is entirely your own decision. Um, I actually have a roll similar to the uh, rank 1 roll, and as for the rank 3 roll, you can buy this or you can buy the Apple of Discord which I believe uh, from the Vanguard Quartermaster, which actually has hand laid stock, so it is a maximum stability roll right there. The choice is yours, however. The rank 2 roll, not great at all. So Danger Close is not a perk I would personally be a fan of. We also have the LB Assault Medium Range Assault Scope. It does give you a small boost of range, but it's nothing special, and you already have Range Finder. High caliber rounds to... Uh, Put the flinch on enemies in PvP and PvE is always quite nice, but this weapon is quite a low impact anyway. Hand loaded to further improve the range or hand light stock to max the stability and take away the range. No, I can't recommend the rank 2 roll. I have to recommend the rank 1 or rank 3, and I'm going to be picking up the rank 3 roll. I have a roll similar to rank 1. Getting into the test weapons this week, uh, only one is actually a crucible weapon, and that's the shotgun. All the other weapons are PvE oriented, so pick those up and get ready to go. Good luck using the shotgun. <laughs> uh, for the weapon orders this week, we have the Hake Zarania D auto rifle, the Suros RE41 auto rifle again, the Suros DIS 43 scout rifle. Had a couple god rolls lately. Let's see if the streak can continue. The Suros JLB-47 rocket launcher, and funny enough, we don't have the JLB-42 this time, so it won't be the gruesome twosome, but we have the Hake Jingu Kogo D shotgun. So in my preference, I'm going to suggest you pick the Zarinia D, the Suros DIS-43, and either the JLB-47 and Jingu or D Jingu Kogo D shotgun as your first preference, and pick up the other two orders on an alternate character. For me at the moment, I don't know what I'm going to pick. don't even have the credits, uh, Glimmer, better yet. Um, so anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like down below. And if you want to see more of this content, don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you all later.